I showed this last time, and I'm kind of curious if anyone's figured it out yet. This is the uh, little, um, no camera there. So this is that little ball in the tube that floats above the magnets, even though you'd expect a ball to be attracted to the magnets like that. If the ball is centered right in the middle of the magnets, then it just kind of floats there and sticks there. So anyone on the chat room figure out you know, why does the, the, the steel ball not get just attracted to the magnets like you expect the steel ball to, to be? I found um, some people that had uh, uh, done some finite element analysis on the magnetic fields. And finite element analysis is a technique where you um, um, break up uh, an object into small little triangles. And for each one of those triangles, you, you solve Maxwell's equations to figure out the electromagnetic fields. And by doing that, you can kind of model what, a, um, uh, a, what uh, the fields look like in a given material. So if we look at a side view of the ring magnet, so this is a ring magnet. In my case, I have the steel base on the bottom here. Um, and we've got the ball up here. What's happening is you have fields from the magnet that are coming through from the top here. And the drawing's flipped, I'm sorry. So imagine this is, it's here, I'll draw it like that. Um, okay, so you have fields that come up and down. Let's see here. And then fields that also um, travel up around this way. And this is, you can think of this going from uh, uh, north to south. And, um, but then there's some fields that also get bent over into the ball like this, because the, the, the steel ball is going to kind of uh, affect the magnetic fields um, in the vicinity. And so while normally the fields would be going outside, um, when the steel ball comes into play, they start pulling, it starts pulling it in. And so what you end up getting is if, if this is, um, here. <laughs> I can't draw it upside down and talk at the same time. If this is north, you end up getting uh, a south pole here, a north pole here, a north pole here, a south pole here, and this would be um, a south pole, a north pole. And so you get this range, you know, kind of interesting uh, arrangement of fields within the ball itself. And it's still not quite clear to me why, you know, these north poles on the bottom just don't get attracted. Uh, um, or, or I mean, sorry, these south poles, I guess what's happening is that the north poles on the bottom here are repulsing against the north poles of the magnets. Um, and then the south poles are trying to actually pull to the sides mm -hmm. against the north poles of the magnets. And that's why you need the tube there to keep the, the ball from pulling sideways. Um, but it's still not clear to me why the, the ball actually floats, because you'd think that, that you know, the, the field strength between the top and the bottom would be so offset that it would still try to sink one way or another. But somehow they balance out. So do you think this would work with a non-sphere shape? Yes, actually, I have seen this um, um, done um, um, with a, a nut on a rod. So replace the ball with a rod up to the center and place just a nut or a washer on it, and it'll float there as well. Interesting. I wonder if there's a use for that. Yeah, yeah I keep wondering, hmm. too. I'm sure you, you know. come up with something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was going to suggest that I, I had two sort of amusing thoughts that, that occurred to me during that. One is uh, uh, you need to make sure that that tube is actually big enough for the ball to drop all the way through. That might be your problem. <laughs> that it's getting stuck in the tube. That, that, and that's one way to trick it, I guess. Yeah, or, but it's the tube is, is it's, actually, I'll show you. You can, uh, um, let's see here. It's possible. So you can see that the ball there drops all the way to the bottom, and it's possible yeah. that to get the, the ball down underneath that sticking point, so then it oh. actually sticks in there. Well, that's good to know. Okay. And if, if this was a ring magnet and the tube went all the way through, you could, have, you could put a ball on either side, and so you'd have two balls, one balanced on top, one ball balanced on the bottom. That works too.